Hi, this is going to be a video showing a patch I'm working on in the grid for doing parameter locks. And it's influenced by this Eurorack module called the Maleco Voltage Block. Uh, I recently made a feature request on the, uh, on the Bitwish forum for expanding on the Parasic modulators. And this was kind of the idea I was after, but I had a hard time describing it. Uh, so I knew, anyway, I kind of played around in the grid the other day to see if I could basically make the kind of modulator that I had in mind. And uh, this is kind of what, what I've come up with so far. So the, the general idea is that it's para it's parameter lock. So it's each step you have a bunch of vol voltages. So you can see at the end of each of these rows, I have a modulator. And so basically each step, you can set a bunch of values on these so that you can get you know specific steps or specific values for each step going to all these modulators. And the cool thing about this is basically that you can solo each step and have it repeat so you can dial in the parameters. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how this works. And then I'm not going to put this together on this video. If anybody's curious about how to make this, I can show it on a, on a separate video. But basically, I have this right now sequencing just this one module right here in VCV rack, the basically plates oscillator. So plates has a bunch of different sounds. So, you know, the idea with this is... Uh, is I was trying to just get a drum beat out of just plates. So I'll, I'll it doesn't sound that cool, but I'll play it for you and then I'll explain what, what's going on. All right, so basically the whole thing is that I wanted to be able to, for each step, dial in exactly the sound that I want. And that can be hard when you have a sequence playing because it's hard to tell which step is where and you get lost in the whole thing. So the cool thing about this is I can just hit this solo button and solo any one of these steps and then repeat it. So let me turn off these uh, re-triggers over here so we just hear one trigger at a time. So now you can see I'm just repeating the first step. It's a kick, so it's easy to dial it in, you know, because now I can mess with it if I want it to be one of the other sounds. I can just... And then I have all the other parameters too. So then I can now go to another step. So let's say now I want to do the next step. I wanted that to be a hi-hat so I can play with it. And then I can go to the next step. And then, yeah, for step five, I want a snare. So let's see, just get a snare. So anyway, being able to solo each one of the steps and dial in all these values is pretty useful. And so the way I have this set up right now, I just have eight outputs. So those can just be assigned to anything. So right now they're just assigned, I'm not even using all eight, but they're just assigned to these parameters on um, plates in VCV rack. And yeah, so basically that was kind of the idea that I was looking for when I was talking about expanding on the Parasic modulator in the Bitwish forum is that uh, I just want to, see for one longer sequences with with the paraseek and then the ability to solo steps like this and then you know if we could have multiple modulators like this it would be cool um yeah and i might expand on this whole thing i just threw this patch together in the grid the other day it didn't take long it was maybe like an hour i worked on it um so i might try to make a kind of a cooler one and make it longer and stuff but um yeah if yeah, if anybody's interested in how to put something like this together, just let me know in the comments, and I can make a video explaining it. Um, yeah, if you want to see the basic setup, so I just have this kind of sequencer. I've done these a bunch of times on other videos, and uh, and then I just have some a whole setup over here for all the other stuff and whatever's going on here. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.